running node minus v command in the terminal window of a new Mac tells us that node is not installed. So with a quick Google search, I end up at this article that tells us the steps to install NVM. Now NVM is a package that helps install and run multiple versions of node. So there is one prior step before installing NVM that is to install the Xcode command line tools. So here they have the command to do that. So I copy this and paste it in my terminal window. I wait for the software to be installed. Once it is installed, I can then use this curl command to install NVM. The article also links to the GitHub page from where we can get the command to install the latest version of NVM. So I choose that. Now the curl command runs and installs pretty fast. However, if you notice, there's a small issue at the end. The path to NVM is not recognized. The good thing is that they even have the step to fix it here, which is to append the following two lines to the .bash profile file for the current user. So I open the .bash profile file in the VI editor. I'll then paste the content that essentially will be telling the location to look for NVM. So once I paste it, the VI commands escape colon and then WQ saves the file. One more important step is to reload the bash profile, which can be done by just typing dot followed by the file location. Now if I type NVM, I see some result, which means it is installed and working. So the next step is to install the version of node that I want. So I type nvm install followed by the version of node. It quickly installs that version and also runs it as a default node version. Node minus v gives us the currently running version of node. Just to make sure, I open a new tab and run node-v there as well and it confirms that node is installed and working.